It was probably um, something that built up over time. You know, there was a few moments where I sort of felt like, you know, this probably isn't how I, how, how I felt before, or this is a bit different. Um, um, so there was a few moments that maybe accumulated into, into one big thing. It was something that I've been dealing with for a little while and, and um, sort of just took, took me a while to finally sort of accept that, you know, I probably needed to just um, have a bit of help and, and, and be honest with where I was at. As sort of, you know, I've been going through this and, and learning, you know, new things and things about myself, um, I think, um, you know, a big step into, into sort of helping yourself is accepting that you might not be doing that well and, um, and not that there's anything wrong with you, but, you know, not that, um, you know, if there's a, I feel like there's a bad stigma about that. Sometimes people with mental health issues, there's something wrong with them. You know, I'm still the exact same person I am and I always have been. You can be sort of in denial about these things um, and say, you know, it's just like, I've had, a, I've had a bad day, maybe it's just I had a bad day and you wake up and sort of still feel the same and um, um, it's really important to you know, keep you know, being active and doing things and, and socialising. Sometimes you may not feel like it and you might want to just stay at home by yourself but you know, catching up with friends and or hanging out with um, yeah, some of the boys from the club or um, seeing, seeing your family. Um, you know, things like taking your dog for a walk. Um, I found it to be helpful to keep being social and um, sort of keeps you in check with um, how you're going as well, I feel like. Training and, and, you know, staying in the program, you know, obviously would keep me fit, but um, also, you know, be able to just be around the boys who, you know, have been really supportive through this time and, um, and yeah, I guess still, still be able to, you know, have a chat and a laugh with all of them. You know, it's a great job that we have, but um, sometimes it can really be really um, debilitating sometimes in, in, in um, how you value yourself and what you think about yourself. You know, I've played, I've played here for eight years, so it's, it's nothing to do with the environment. The environment's really great. You know, I love, I love the coaches, I love the players. You know, the club's been really supportive and, you know, I couldn't, couldn't really ask for much more in, in when I asked to sort of take time away and obviously they, you know, we're just helpful through the whole situation. I think it's important that, um, you know, people are, you know, speaking out and, and, and just being honest with where they're at. And um, I guess, um, especially for me, it was important to not feel embarrassed about it or anything like that, because um, there is nothing to be embarrassed about. You know, the amount of support I got when I sort of spoke up um, from people, you know, that just, you know, strangers and, and you know, some other players and, and things like that was, you know, super important.